The TUC's Information Product Library can help you access data about the tertiary sector and your own organisation to support you in your strategy development and decision making. This video introduces you to the basics of how to use our business intelligence tool. One of its strengths is the ability to create visual data to quickly see what's interesting or important, and then draw into the data to gain insights. Let's take a look. You can access the information product library from any page on the TEC website through Nakete. There are several information products available, each containing different data so you can explore different topics. Links to the information products are available in the What's Important section of Nakete. When you open an information product, you will see that it is made up of a number of sheets. Hovering over the name of the sheet will display an information icon. Click to read more about what you can explore in the sheet. You can see this detail for all of the sheets in the menu. To understand the purpose of each information product, take a look at the About This App sheet. This outlines information about the data, how the information is displayed, and some key notes. Each information product has a data definition sheet. This outlines the meaning and where the data has come from. Simply click to open. At the top of every page, there is a navigation menu. You can return to the information product overview where we started. Open a bookmark. Open a sheet from the drop down list or scroll to the next sheet using the arrows. Once you have opened a sheet, you can filter the data to give the view you want to see. Filters are available at the top of every sheet. Here's how they work. When you select a filter, you may see the item and the line under the field name turn green. This means this is a single layer filter. Some filters may have more than one layer, so if the line underneath the field name doesn't turn green, you can go back into the filter to select another option. Each layer applies an increasingly detailed view. In this example, we have picked the broad end sked, and when we click on the filter again, we can pick from the narrow end sked options associated with the broad level selected. There may be a number of levels you can select from. When there are no more options, the green line will display under the field title. When you select a filter, you may notice other filter options change colour. Items in white indicate there are more filtering options available based on what you have selected. Anything that is showing in light grey is an alternative option you can select and anything in dark grey isn't available with the filter you have currently chosen. If you select a dark grey item, it will wipe your previous selection. You can always use the step back button to undo your last action. To remove your filter selections, you can either click on the crosses next to each item at the top of the screen, or go back into each filter and click on the clear selection button. You will notice the sheets within each information product use different visualizations. A combination of charts, graphs, tables, and maps are used to present information. Hovering over an area of the visualization will display the count based on your current filters. Clicking directly onto an area of the visualization will enable you to apply a filter. You can either click on the green tick to confirm, or simply click away into empty space on the screen. When you hover over a visualization, you will see an icon display in the top right with two arrows. Clicking on this will open the visualization in full screen. Simply click the cross to return to the main view. You can zoom into the maps to get a closer look. 
drag the map to reposition it and when you're done click the home icon to zoom out again. If you get to a stage in your exploring where you find something really interesting you can add a bookmark so you can come back to it later. Click on the bookmark icon and then select create new bookmark. Give your bookmark a name that will make sense to you when you come back to it later. You can also add an optional description. When you are finished, simply click the bookmark icon again. To return to the main screen, click on the icon in the top left and select Overview. From here you can view and open your bookmarks without needing to open any sheets. Take some time to explore all the filters and charts available in each information product and see what you can find. For more specific information about each of the information products and the type of information you can discover, take a look at our quick reference guides available from the support section of the TEC website. If you have questions about using any of the information products, please contact the Sector Help Desk.